Hello everyone. Hope everyone's okay. So, just wait for some people to come on. Just like to let you know this is not a sponsored show. The bit that I'm using, I'm using um, a hello from the Eurocraft box and I'm using paper from, I'll show you the packet, from All Bright Colours. It, uh, it's just to make the matte um, deck that I got from uh, the work and it's by a company called Graphic. Let me show you the back. It's G R A F I X. Okay, that's the company that made this, this lovely pad. I have actually used most of it. Look, <laughs> because it is such an iPad, it's got two colours that I really like in it purple and blue. So, yeah. <laughs> so, let's see who's in today. I'm not even on the right. Right page. Hello D. Hello Janice. Thanks for joining. Hello Mick D. Thanks for joining. Uh, today we're going to make this lovely card. It is a um, it four inches by five and a half. So it is nearly. It's nearly an A two. It's about a quarter of an inch smaller. I do apologise, don't we? But the, 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 the dimension seemed to work perfectly great with this one when I was making it. I actually dreamt it up last night. <laughs> and I thought, right, I'm doing that. I've got um, another few cards that I've that I've um, I've uh, made up in my in my dreams. I know that sounds really weird, but um, um, it's nice and dunny here, lovely and dunny, yeah. You can see the chime from the picture behind me. Anyway, so yeah, this is the card we're going to make. I call it a flipping pillow card. You'll see why. You see the inside like that, yeah. And then when you open it, it flipped open and twist around the two squares. Now these two squares, you could put pictures on those if you wanted. Um, I think I've got this bit the wrong way around. So when I do the next one, uh, I'm going to turn it the other way around. <clears throat> but that, because I, I want the two squares to show more, if you know what I mean. So that is my... <laughs> Flipping pillow card. <coughs> Hello, Janan. You know what? I was looking over some of my old uh, videos and I found out that Janan was actually the very first person to come onto my channel. The very first. She hadn't, she, I think she'd missed one day because she had to go somewhere. But, um, uh, she, she hadn't really met a single one of my videos, so yeah, I really appreciate appreciate your uh, your uh, what's the word your um, mm, I can't think of the word right now. You know what I mean. I really appreciate you coming on here and you supporting me. That day you've been supportive all the way through with me, Shannon and Dee. Um, haven't seen Marilyn that much. I think she must be very busy. But uh, yeah, anyway, this is the card we made him. It's a very nice card. 
you can do anything you like with it, really. Um, put photos in it. You can use it as a photo album sort of thing. So, um, thank you, Dee. That's the word I was looking for, continuing support. And um, she told me, oh, yeah, she just did it. She actually told me from the very start, I will always be here to deport you, Will. And she had. Same with Dieta, actually. They've both been great. They've both given me loads of great ideas to, to play with. And I've used a lot of them. Uh, I will be doing my very first Explosion Box soon as well. Uh, I've got loads of other ideas too, um, including in this one that I came up with in my dream. The the uh, it's very simple. The mechanism very simple. It's uh, very similar to well, I say very similar. It part of it is similar to the twist and pop. Oh, Marilyn, not very well. Oh dear, I hope you're okay. But anyway, yeah, I'm using. Uh, so I've done one blue one here today. I'm very downed about Marilyn now. I wondered where she was. So, um, yeah. A dick by, I'm using a dick by dick. Um, what to do, da? So, first thing you need is you need one eight by five and a half uh, card blank. Card blank. Card. Uh, you then need a five inches by two and a half inch piece. You also need a five by five and a half P. This is the bit that I'm going to change a bit, change, because I want the square to show more, so I can put a photo there, you know, two photos. Because this, what this reminds me of is a bed. Do you know what I mean? Like a bed. And look, 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 pop. And can you imagine the two two heads are popping up there, you know? Um so yeah, I, I don't know why I thought thought this up. It's too weird. So I might turn this, this round like this um, when I put this this card together. So this piece is five and a half by five inches. I then got two pieces of black card that are I need to double check. Yeah, two and a quarter by two and a quarter square okay so two that two and a quarter by two and a quarter square i've then got two blue pieces which are two inch squared um what else have i got oh yeah i've got this uh, which i added in last minute i've got one piece just double check that is two and a quarter by two and a quarter square and a two inch square piece of uh damping card this bit will be for my gentleman so i'm gonna pop that piece up there for now. I've then chosen three pages which have got blue in them from my um, dip by dip uh, paper design pad. This one, it's called All Bright. It by uh, I did say earlier. It by a company uh, www dot co dot uk i'll put it in the description below but you spell it g r a f i a and um it looked like they make it uh yeah it looked like they made made it and designed it um craft dentation by graphic there you go craft dentation by graphic it's on the front there all bright colored uh, I'm not sure if their website will do it, but you know what, if they do, I'm going to buy another pack of this, because I love this, this paper. Um, it was cheap, it was from the work.co.uk, it was a pound, a pound, and you get, um, how many sheets do you get, me. you get, you get 30 sheets with three designs, um, sorry, with 10 designs, so you get three of each design yeah that's right so you get three sheets of each design and they're 10 designs so 30 sheets which is brilliant for a pound <laughs> um 
Oh, what you want, Diane? Uh, good morning. Oh, morning, Fred. Hello. What feet? What feet? Don't get it. Anyway, so these are the papers I'm using. A nice uh, gingham, I suppose you call it, gingham. Uh, this piece, which is like, it reminds me of screwed up paper and then you try and flatten it out. And then this lovely piece, which reminds me kind of like a, a beige sort of, beige sort of thing. Anyway, let's pop that to the side. I'll pop that over there for now too. And we're going to start off with our, let me pop that up there. We're going to start off with our larger piece, which is uh, eight inches by five and a half inches. And we're going to start off by, there it is, I was looking for that earlier, by scoring it in half, which is four inches. Okay, so we just draw that in half, fold it. The black card I got from the work doctor co.uk it's about a pound um i think it's about a pound a pack and you get uh eight or ten pieces in a pack something like that anyway so that is done we're done with that that's folded the next thing we're going to do is we're going to decide well i'm going to decide what piece is going where so i want this piece uh the outside, this P, this P will be for the other bit later on, and this bit will be for the inside. So because it um, because it's four by five and a half, I want two pieces which are um, three and three quarters of an inch. Let's get that straight because my trimmer is not straight. And I keep forgetting to drain it <clears throat> by five and a half, so five and a quarter. Okay, so that three and three quarters by five and a quarter. Okay, so you need that piece, that bit going on the outside. So the inside, just here, this bit here, and you open it. You want the same uh, same measurement, so three and three quarters by five and a quarter. Remember, double me measure twice. So measure twice, cut one. That way, no mistake. That's my little motto. Okay, so that bit done. That bit there. You need to now put it. Onto the P. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use this today. So we'll put this on. It's nearly finished. So pop that on, and even as you can. Ah oh dear. Come on, we'll concentrate. So, there we go. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. I think I cut it wonky. Oh, well. <coughs> then we're going to put this piece on. On the inside, just like that, okay, and that part is done. So you can put that piece to the side, okay. The next piece you need is you right, know, we'll do the mechanism. So here, here is the mechanism. Next thing you need to do, measure twice, cut one. <laughs> Then no date, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but always remember that because you never know. Right, so these are five inches long. You want it on the five inch side, okay? And you need to go at one inch 
two inch, three inch, four inch. No, that's wrong. One inch, three inch, and four inch. Okay, and at the two inch line, let's get rid of that gore. Easy way to get rid of the gore, turn it over and then just, just flatten it down. Okay, so you want to gore it at one inch, three inch, and four inch. Okay, now at the two inch line, I'll turn, turn it around and do it again, do it at the three inch line there. But here at the two inch line, just do on either end, on either side, two little notches, all right? You've got to remember that, two little notches. So, this notch here, <coughs> this notch here to this not this bit of the line here, this third line, okay? You need to score it. You know, like you do with your, your mechanism for the twist and pop, yeah? It's going to be that, it's going to be that, uh, that uh, X mark, okay? So that is, that is how your scoring will look, okay? So this bit here goes, um, goes as a mountain, this bit goes as a mountain underneath, okay? You then want to make this bit here and this bit here as a mountain, the, the, the cross, yeah? And then you want to make this bit as a valley, okay? That's what you need to do, just like that. And then you have your mechanism. That is your mechanism there, okay? All you need to do then is do your, do your funny bit here, just to flatten it out. Like that, and then just gore it down, and you have your mechanism. That is your that is your mechanism. All right. So the three inch line, you want an X going through it, yeah, like that. That is it. That is it. And no, the the two pieces when it comes to making the card fold underneath. All right. So that bit done. That. Easy. It's an easy peasy bit. Um, easy peasy. It's easier than the um, than the other the uh, tw uh, twist and pop card. Right. Next bit I'm going to do. I'm going to put my blue bit onto the black. Either the what I would call the pillow. <laughs> Either the pillow. Okay. Oh, it's wonky. Luckily, it didn't adhere down completely. I think that, that'll do. That'll do. That will do. Okay. Bit here. That up down a bit. So how is everyone? Oh, hello, Nona. Oh, Nona, I'm reading the reading the last book of um, Whitby Richard, De Demon Baby, something like that. I think it's called. Can't remember. In next door. It, it's very good so far. Right now, this piece is five inches by five and a half inches. This black piece here, and we need to put a layer on that or a mat, whichever you want to call it. So it needs to be, <coughs> excuse me, need to be five inches. Okay. What did I say? Five by five and a half, didn't I? It needs to, it needs to be three and a quarter inch, uh, four and a quarter inches. Oh, my brain's all faddled. Four and a quarter inch, uh, four and three quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. Okay. Five and a quarter on the longest side, 
and four and three quarters on the shorter side. Shorter side. Might use that later, actually. No. Yeah, I do love those books. I, I think they're brilliant. Very cleverly written. Okay, so I'm going to add here this piece down. Okay. Get rid of the bogey there. And tear it down. There we go, like that. Okay, so okay, so along the shortest side, so along the five inch side, I am going to Just need to double check Is that right. I'm changing it from what I did in the other card. Yeah, that's right. That's what I want. Okay, so I'm going to score it in half. At, I'm no, actually, I'm going to score it at two and three quarters. Okay, two and three quarter inches. Okay, fold it. Two and three quarters, and fold it. And just do dial it down. Okay. So now this is where we start to put the card together. Okay. So I open your card up. You need your mechanism. Okay. You then want to get your tape or glue or whichever you're using. I'm going to use tape because it's very good for um, construction. It had been specially made for construction. Oh, I forgot today. Right. One thing you need to do with this, with your mechanism, uh, which I completely forgot to tell you, is you want to just put a little dot at the middle. So that is one and a quarter, because it's two, two and a half inches wide, isn't it? So one and a quarter. Just put a little dash, okay? And then, with your card, okay, just very lightly, five and a half, uh, which is two and three quarters. So, in, at the middle, at two and three quarters, just put a very light line, okay, just a very light line. Don't put all the way down on it, because you don't want it, want it as a fold, all right? Just a very light line, just to show you where the middle is, okay? So, what I've done... You know, I've got my little my little dot there. You can do it just there, okay, at the denter. And I've got my line, okay, my very very light line down the denter. You want to level those up, and you want to leave where you folded. You want to leave about a one thick thing for an inch, all right? Maybe less. So you want it close possible to the um, to the fold line of your card, okay, um, and then just rub, rub this on because it heat activated in it. So now that is that is perfectly fine, all right, and that will hide. Okay, the next piece you need to do is you need to add here, put your tape on the next fold, did bit at the back, all right. So that part, the bit that you folded underneath, all right? You then want to push it down all the way, okay? And just, you need to encourage your mechanism to flatten properly, all right? So that is that, is that all flattened nicely. I can feel it, all flattened nicely. You can even use your bone folder to get in there and flatten it all out nicely with your bone fold if you want and there okay to that if you look that is how the mechanism worked okay that's how it works didn't like that 
ADPD. What do you mean, me going? Oh, hello, Bernie. Hello, darling. Me going? Yeah. Well, I've always done mine at, at three o'clock, and because of my my the way that I work during the day, because I need to keep keep a what the word um, a schedule. I have to stay with my schedule. So I can't. I can't um, be be um, you know doing all my bit. What uh, you know? You know what I mean. I need to stay at three o'clock, basically. Hello, Amanda. Hello, darling. Yes, they do change. They go back to to the usual time. They go is it back or forward? I can't remember. Mine go automatically. I've got everything that does it for me. Right. So there you go. That is. Yeah, that is how I want it. The next bit we're going to do, this triangle here, okay, and this triangle here, okay, where you folded it, the, on this side of the fold, you want to glue both of those. So you want to put your tape on both of those. Oh dear, it's gone a bit grey here. Can you still D? Yeah, you can still D. Nearly run out of tape. Okay, so I put tape all along this piece. Okay, all on that piece. I'm going to get rid of that bogey there that I accidentally put it on. Don't want it there. Right, so that is how you've glued it. Just on these two pieces, okay? Move, move that over. Because you don't want it dicking sticking on this triangle bit, so you need to be as careful as possible, right? Then you place your pillow, let's call it a pillow, because that's what it reminds me of, onto that line, or just, just after that fold, middle fold line, yeah? At the, what the, at the three inch middle fold line, if you remember that. Okay, and you, and you just put this one next, right next to it, Excuse me. And just get get it warmed up. Cause that's how it it uh, heat activated glue, isn't it? So, there we go. And we'll just close it like that, just to encourage it round. Press down more, just to flatten it. There you go. You got your pillows ready. <laughs> okay. The next bit. You've already folded it at two and a half. So on your larger side, okay, on the back, you want to put your your um, tape pen or glue, whichever you want to use. A tape pen probably better. Um, if you've got red tape, even better. I'm going to buy some next month. Um, you want to put your tape all over it, okay? Because you want this bit to literally, you want this bit to stay, all right? You don't want it to be um, flapping off for anything. Um, but yeah. Okay. Then, what you need to do is you need to line it up, okay? Put the fold literally up, up against, what do you call it? Um... Butt it up against your mechanism there, yeah? Do you see? Right up against it. Okay. And then you rub it rub it down just to get the heat of your hand in in there just to get it glued down. Right now let's call it the house shape on your mechanism there, you want to glue that bit too, all right? So go ahead and glue all of that piece, trying not to go over. As I say, it is better to use, use tape than glue. Okay, and you want to then 
flatten out this piece, yeah, and just rub it on because it, it again, it's the it, the cast companion tape, okay, and then close it up like that, and it's done basically. See, there you go, happy, it's done. Nice, isn't it? Good piece. Oh, you're not allowed anything. Why? Why aren't you allowed anything? If it's your money, you should be allowed to buy it. Okay, so um, the next pick, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put my gentleman, here it is, my gentleman onto my piece of card that I have ready here. And I'm going to put the magnet in there and the magnet in there. The wrong way round. Okay, I'm then going to pop my hello, hello, um, I think right there. Okay, put it, push it down. Get my ink. So the ink I'm using today is Ocean Blue, just to match the card. Just dab it on. I'm going to do it a few times just to get that nice darkness of the blue. I haven't used this damp either. I did uh, put Della tape on it. So I'll do it a couple of times because it is a brand new damp. One more time, I reckon. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Pop that on. Uh, get my baby wipe. Clean it up. Been quite good with not getting ink on my hand today. Uh oh, have I just. I've just jinked my dog, haven't I? Yeah, I do, I do that same thing, Nona. Oh, look. I spoke to you, I've got ink on my fingers. Um, I, I do that too, Nona. So I I um, give my dog however much each month to buy something special for my dog from DD. I don't know the real name of this card. I called it a flipping pillow card or a flip card. Um, twist, twisting flip card, something maybe. I don't know. I, I just came up with it, my dear, in my dream. I'm actually being dear with it. I came up with it in a dream. <sighs> So that oh, I've got ink on that as well. Get let get my hello out of there before I get it wet. There we go. So that bit done. Uh, the next bit I'm going to do. I'm not worried about getting my finger on it because look, it quick dry. It quick dry. Perfect. I'm gonna put. A rounded corner on on all the all the corners. I love this corner rounder. I'm very, I'm I'm pleased I got it. Put a corner round. Maybe I could come up with. I'll do my dream. <laughs> uh, don't I look? I literally, I I have the weirdest dreams. I woke up this morning and I did today. I thought of a new card. He did. He did. Are you sure you thought of it, not dreamt it? I said, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> but uh, today, to today card, I dreamt dreamt it up the other day. Um, tomorrow card. 
I need to work it out. But to my card, I dreamt of it last night. So, uh, yeah, tomorrow card is going to... And the thing is, right, I'll tell you why I'm thinking about this more. And, it, and it's obviously playing on my mind. It's because I want to make a scrapbook. Okay? I want to make a scrapbook. So, obviously, my subconscious is thinking of way to, to have to make up the scrapbook. This would be perfect in a scrapbook. After, yeah, it would. It would be perfect in a scrapbook. Hello, Elgar. Thanks for joining, mate. Just put four on just so it. And I want it to pop up on the front. I'll show you. Get rid of the bogey. Glue bogey everywhere here. Just going, just thinking about what. Um, what uh, they were talking about this morning on Crafted TV and about how this one didn't cut properly and about how everyone is, you know, getting on really well uh, and the different group and whatnot, you know. It, uh, it lo it's lovely to see everyone here. And I do, sometimes I, I think to myself, I wonder if they're crafting along with me, you know. So tell me, do tell me if you are crafting along with me and what you're making, if you are making anything. Okay, so that is the card. That is my card. How lovely is that, eh? How lovely. And where I've turned it around, I've got more of the square, can you do? Can you do now? I've got, I know it's not that much more. It's only about, it's about half an inch more. But you can now put photo on there. And you could put a photo here. I'll tell you what it could be. Picnic, picnic blanket. Look, picnic blanket there. And then the people, you can put people's head in need bit to do who was at your picnic. Oh, don't worry. Hello, Patty. So, yeah, there is the card. Isn't it a wonderful card? And, and please, it, like, don't ask me. I dreamt it up <laughs> a few nights ago. Yes, 91 subscribers. I don't, I have seen that. We need nine more till I do a giveaway. <laughs> Yes, it does. It does. That's why I called it the flipping pillow card. Um, I don't know. Please, I don't know what the actual name of it is. It they, it's very clever. I don't 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 even ask me what's going on in my head because I don't even know what's going on in my own head. Sometimes <laughs> it's like I I did. I dreamt it up. Tomorrow's one's even better. Honestly. It 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 um it's almost like a just a card, almost. But it I've mixed it up with just a card and um um oh I don't know what you call them, the dimension. You know they have the aperture and then they've got they've got the folded bit, like a like a W, and then you got your back bit. It's like that. Like a Dean card, but it a mixture between a Jutter and a Dean card. It, it, you'll like it. Trust me. Oh, I do like. I, I look. I got this. I 
it comes with two, okay? Let me show you the, the design. So that design there, and then you've got that design there, okay? So that two punches in one, and then you've got this one, so it does the, does the uh, nice double rounded, it does a big rounded, and a small rounded. So you got five corner punches in the box, and this was about eight pound. I got it from the company that I will never buy from again. Um, but it, uh, what do you call it? Um, doodle. Uh, here we go. Kitten Caboodle. Kitten Caboodle. It's a small company, but they use they use that uh, cra create craft to sell their stuff. Um, but yeah. It, it, it's brilliant, it, this corner rounder. And it's not it's not hard to press either now. Because I've used them so much, they've kind of loosened up, you know? Do it one handed. It, oh, they're really good. They're very good, these ones. So, yeah, maybe go. They go down the neck to me. So, yeah, that is the card for today. And it had turned into a card. It's a very good card. So, there you go. When I dreamed of making cards, when I woke up, I was thinking, Dan, can't get crafting out of my head when I'm sleeping. <laughs> I don't mind. I uh... <laughs> no problem. I like that. Thanks for sharing that. <laughs> I'll only share the crafty stuff. I won't share anything else. <laughs> yeah, punchy should make come back. I agree, do you? Let me show you. Let me get my punches out. I because I don't use them. Use them enough. Use my craft punching enough. Really. So these are my drawer with all my crafty bit, crafty bit. Then got sparkles and whatnot there. I got given these. That's why they're in this drawer. So I don't know what they are. So right with these three punches here. With those three there, these three, I got this, this with it. Uh, it. It's called Flower Forming Volume 1. I also got the these papers with them. Uh, you can see the design there. Um, so they're the flower one. They're flower ones. They're only small. They don't do very big ones. Look, look they're the leaf one. It, they're very small. Here's my bigger flower one, which I used to like using quite a bit actually. And I never, I don't normally have the these bits on, you know, because they they fill up and I forget to empty them. So I don't normally have those bits on. But look, my heart one, small heart one, small dar. Um. Oh yeah, smaller heart and dar. And they're, they're there. I've got this one, this lovely bow sort of one. Quite interesting, that one. And I've got my my um, uh, no flake one. So I don't have many punchy. And I have used them in the past. I mean, at the day, I, I love using this one. This one really good um, to make. And But then I got my die, you know. I got my dye for for my um all my flowers. So uh, yeah. Haven't used this in a while. But that is that is my punch I don't even know what's in this box, I haven't looked at it. I've got sparkle, look, nice sparkle. Oh I might keep that out. Uh, I don't know what these are. 
I think I need a flower. I've got more flowers, more flowers. <laughs> Not sure what these are. Anyone seen these before? Things like these before? I think what happened is they've they've foiled them onto um, uh, vellum, and then done a pre-cut or of some sort. You know, some nice. Actually, these are nice flowers. I've never even seen them before. Purple, a pinky colour, gold. Uh, I'm getting that the bone folder. Uh, it's got those. Those have been used. Like a pinky colour. Yeah, I don't know what they are. They're quite cool though. Flowers. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking though now. I'm not sure though. So yeah, they're my punches. They're the only punches that I've got. So uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Gonna have a look at these barcodes. Hello Mary Pat. I'm finishing in a little bit anyway though. Oh, there's some nice stuff in here. Look at that. There's a star there. Blue star. That's beautiful. Wow, there's some nice star. Oh, there's the bead. Loads of beads. Good box, though. Look at the box. I like the box. I, I, granted, I like the sparkles that are in it, but the box is fantastic. Look at that. The wall sort of stuff with that. Put that over there and have a look at that later. So, this week we have got, I have been told that the year, uh, a, a card a week challenge is you've got to make an Easter card and you've got to use um, the shaving foam technique. I've never done the shaving foam technique before. I have got Jamie Vine somewhere, uh, which I will I will try out later on. Give me, Ooh. so yeah, that is what what we're doing this week. Uh, um, I did have card of the week, but it dropped down on the floor. Oh. What we call, oh here it is card of the week here's card of the week so this is the card that we're going to be making my camera moved I do apologise uh, going to be making on Wednesday this one it's the flag fold card very nice and easy to do very easy but yeah, the other one that I made, I've already enveloped for my dad. But if you remember, someone said, oh, it's like blue cheese. I put the whole all in it. Um, so, yeah, this is, card, this is last week, card of the week. And that's what we're making on Wednesday. Do you remember that? Okay. Um, that is it all I can remember what, today now. Um, no, no, you can use food colouring, I believe, to do your phone stuff. Um, I've never done it before. Thing is, with food colouring, if you get it on your hand, that's it. It, it will take days to come out. <laughs> come out of your hand. Um, Um, yeah, get just buy yourself one of those cheapo ones. What are they? 30 odd P from Addo or whatever it is. So, um, yeah, um, yeah, we don't, we, I don't have re -inkers. Um, I will do soon. Uh, someone that they send me a box today, I believe. They're going to send it off today to me. 
Um, and I did have some ink, ink, ink coming. I can't wait for it. It's very good, very nice stuff. Um, so yeah. Um, Hmm. See, I I think I will give it a go at some point. I have time. I've got two more beds I've got got to make. So I told I told three yesterday. Uh, the bloke, the, my friend came over, paid me, um, and I've got another two that I've got to make. One of them I can't make yet because I don't have the colours. So, um, uh, oh, that, uh, that's a problem for me. I don't have watercolour card or watercolour paper. <coughs> and I don't have any jobs open. <laughs> any, well, no craft jobs anyway. I had to don't do watercolour paper, unfortunately. Um, and it'll take a while for the work to get it to me if I buy it from the work so, yeah. you know what I love this mat you feel it all when you feel it you can feel all the glue bits that are on it and all you have to do right no word of lie you don't need any of that what is it Stick away or whatever it's called, the the the, the stuff they spray. You don't need any of that. You get yourself a wet one, a wet wipe, and wipe. There's wipe poured. And it's all gone, look, all gone. All gone. And then I dry I just dry it in my sleeve. See? Nice, nice, shiny, clean. <laughs> Dry up there. There you go. Oh yeah, these are one of the first things that I bought that was of uh, Craft Companion. Is there, um, there, oh, there's glue on that one. Um, is there tweeted? That one you you have to open and then close like that, and then you got your your uh, these, these ones. A lot of people I know um, are are philatelists. I'm a philatelist, by the way. I collect stamps. I collect loads of different stamps, um, and we use these because they they hold the stamp better. Um, rather than using these, which eventually the stamp will start getting hold in because it's so thin, we tend to use these because it's flat, you know, and you can pick it up. Let's get a piece of paper. Right. So this is your stamp, yeah? You pick it up like that, flat, like that. Whereas with the, with the tweezers that are like that, or even like this one, they'll eventually start making hold in your damp. So we like these ones. We like these ones. Oh, oh philately. So, yeah. Oh, that's a good point. No, no. I'm. I mean, at the moment, I'm um, shielding, so I can't. I can't go out. But um, that's a very good point. I'll have a look on their website. We've got what the date day Monday. We've got a delivery on Wednesday, so I can have a look there. Yeah, I could look in Poundland. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I love Poundland. I used to get loads of stuff from Poundland. My sweetie, my I love, cause I love I love Worthy the original, 
and Powerland tell loads of different ones. So, uh, yeah. Right, let's end the show. Um, Today's card. Wednesday card. <laughs> card uh, a card a day card in, in, in um, Easter shaving foam card. So, that's it. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so yeah, how often is the fly door carry all kinds of card dot? Wow, uh, Dave's working till quite late today, so he, he can he's a school teacher, so um, he won't be able to. And we don't like how people are now, that they're quite dirty, um, they're not very nice people. We like Adda, but people in it, well, some of them are a bit, a bit weird. Um, thank you. Um, I'm trying to end the show, but I'm seeing more conversation. Um, yeah, let's end the show. We'll come back tomorrow. Um, I mean, I do have a little bit of time that I can use up, but um, I want to know, I want to see how it is towards the end of, end of the month, you know, in case in case I do another show that's long. So, um, let's say goodbye. Uh, please do share, like, comment on all my videos. Uh, Rewatch my videos as well. Um, especially the ones that I've did all oh, would be good in a, in a, in a, um, grab book. Um, because eventually I will be doing a grab book tutorial. Um, because I'm going to buy that 8 inch die from Crafted Companion uh, thank you for joining me again please do share like, comment and if you haven't already please do subscribe to my channel, get your friend to subscribe um, please do like this video it doesn't take long to press the thumbs up button uh, there, there were 13 of you on today, so if I don't get 13 thumbs up, I'll be coming to you and say, thumbs up please. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for joining, and I shall see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>